Yeah, I'm not I'm not I'm not really sure how good of a game it is or if it's going to be terrible. Um I really honestly don't even know anything about it other than what I just said, you know? It's uh it's made by Mud Duck or whatever the hell it's called and then uh published by Zenimax Studio and it's on the PS2. That's about the extent of my knowledge of it. So we are going to learn a bit about this game together and oh my god, my headphones are dying. Everything is going wonderfully tonight. <laughs> Give me one moment while I get my headphones. Mad you missed God of War, but you had a horrible day that day, so you don't blame yourself for that. Yeah, no. Everybody needs a break sometimes. No hard feelings at all, man. I'm glad you can make it tonight, though, and I hope your day today has been a little bit better. Hey, Mr. Noodle. Hey, what's up, Dorseman? Glad you could be here tonight, man. The stream will be starting as soon as I can find freaking cable for my headphones, because somehow I seem to have completely lost them. So, be just one more moment. Uh, Mr. Noodle, if you happen to know where a micro USB cable is and you would want to run it up to me, that would be fantastic, because somehow I've lost a 10-foot USB cable. Don't know how the hell I've done that, so, <laughs> but I'll, I'll be back in just a moment. Well, Dorseman, I appreciate the fact that you have one, but, uh, you're, you're a little far away there, bud. <laughs> All right, we're back, and I think we are actually ready to get started. Why? No, that's all. That's all fine. Uh, so let me catch up on chat real quick. Let me see what all I've missed. Bought it for me. It's going to be amazing. Yes, Mr. Noodle, I agree. 100%. It is going to be the literal best because you bought it for me. 
Uh, bad headphones. Technology is the worst when got on your ner nerves so much lately. This will be your new favorite game. Also, I'm happy to see you here, Dorseman. I, I think I may have said that, but if I didn't, then yeah. I am happy to see you here, bud. Uh, me and him plan on maybe, hopefully, recording an episode of Just One More Level Podcast tomorrow. If we're, we're lucky, fingers crossed. Nate's door dashing. That's nice, man. Happy to be here. Thank you. Thank you, Dorseman. And Roboru, I feel that noodle. The reason you had a bad day was because the extended studies program we have at the college are idiots. <laughs> they don't teach the out-of-the-state online user to activate their net ID, and then people get mad. You and your car workers, because they have to do it. I'm not even showing you a woman named Karen was one of them. Of course it was. Of course. It's always the Karens, man. Let me tell you. Don't worry, stream. That's you in a nutshell. <laughs> Nate, sneak me some some someone's food. I uh, wouldn't suggest that, Nate. The Dorseman is a bad influence, obviously, and you probably shouldn't do it. But all right, now that we've had this wonderful intro to uh, the podcast, or to the podcast, ugh, it's been a rough day. <laughs> to the to the stream, why don't we uh, why don't we actually go ahead and get started now? Eh? So again. Power Drum, a game by Mud Duck, published by Zenimax Studios, or at least it's a Zenimax Media brand, whatever that means. Um, and it was really cheap; it was like three dollars. So <laughs> hopefully, it's fun. Let's uh, let's get into it. So we don't have a save profile, so we are going to make one with the name Stream. It reminds me a bit of that. What's the, the, the PlayStation? It's a PlayStation series of, of racing games. And they look kind of similar to this, like the the vehicles that you fly around on. And that this just kind of reminds me of that with Attitude so far, right? And technically, if you forgot something, it doesn't count, right? At least a DoorDasher gave you a free drink because they forgot. Huh. That's weird. Like, that the customer never called for it. I mean, you made this game? Well, shit, uh, Dorseman. It's like Star Wars pod racing. Kinda, that's not the one I was thinking of, but yeah, I can see the influence there as well. For sure. We got any interesting options? I doubt it. Control settings, vibrations. We got vibrations, guys. That's fancy. We got camera shake. Different kinds of camera. How do we actually chase, bumper, cockpit? I think I think we probably want chase camera. Complexity of the heads-up display, wide-angle camera? Yeah, give us that wide-angle view, baby. Come on. Reset all options to default? No, 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 no. Don't do that. Mr. Noodle with the five-bit cheer. Thank you, love. Number one supporter over here. <laughs> Hacking heck, Twitch on computers being a jerk again, and you already cleared your cookies. I think your computer and Twitch just don't get along, period. <laughs> like, at all, ever. Just uh, the worst of enemies, obviously. You ate all your cookies, too? Man, a cookie sounds fantastic right now. Do we want to be Jenna Ferrante, crowd-pleasing favorite with all-round racing talent, or Abel Vorsch, playboy maverick with a wide streak of luck and skill? And then looks like we got a lot of unlockables, actually. Jenna? You want to be Jenna? We can do Jenna. I am not particular to either one. Oh, they have stats. Let's pull up their stats. So, top speed, armor, weight, thrust, handling, and skidding. And she has a bit more armor, a bit less top speed, lower weight, lower handling, lower skidding. It almost just seems like she's worse in every way, except she has a tiny bit more armor. Street gang bike, customized and tuned for racing. Lightweight pro blade style, popular in the street racing leagues, huh? You wouldn't be surprised your laptop is old, but still. I mean, you would think it would still handle something like Twitch just fine, though, you know? Manual or auto? We're going auto for sure, because I can hardly pay attention to what I'm doing as is. And adding more complexity is just a guarantee that we are going to get screwed. Uh, purple, purpose, blah, blah, blah. San Key? San, San Kai? Speedway? I don't know. Mata Y? <laughs> Hydro Dam and Shoreline print through natural... What's that? Natural Chicanas? I don't know these words. Uh, we're just gonna we're gonna do a quick uh, three lap race, just to get 
a handle of it. Regular, advanced, professional, I guess regular. Just to kind of get a feel for what the hell we're doing. I'm not sure. Was there like a story mode or anything like that? Or, or a campaign to go through? Or do we just race and as we, we race, we just unlock shit for like every win or something like that? I have no clue. I don't even know what the go button is. Looks like X. Okay. Uh, everybody else is slow as shit, apparently. Oh, yeah, look at that. Already going 800 miles an hour. <laughs> okay. Is there, like, a boost button? So that's, uh, look behind. Oh, okay. R2 seems like boost. Drafting. Okay, so that's good. Square is break, and that's change view. That's not what we wanted to do. S circle is repair is that what it said oh god the handling on this is wow this makes you dizzy yeah it's making me a bit dizzy too <laughs> how do we how do we build up boost i don't know if there's something we got to do for it is there any reason not to hit the walls i imagine we're probably taking a little bit of damage right it definitely feels fast, though. I'll give them that. Like, it's got a great sense of speed moving around here. It seems like any time we turn, we lose a lot of speed. Whether we hit a wall or not. I'm sure hitting walls isn't helping, but, like... <laughs> uh, I don't think we need to save the re replay. You'll not be able to return to the screen. That's that's fine. <laughs> Pod racing is better. I would love to play that game again someday. That was, what, N N64 and probably PlayStation 1 as well, right? Star Wars Pod Racing. Didn't they just make a remake of that for the Nintendo Switch as well? They did, like, four different Star Wars games, if I remember correctly. Two per cartridge. Okay, so that was what? Was that just quick race mode, I think, is what we just did? Yeah, so championship, race your way to glory across the different worlds of the Higamini? Higamini. <laughs> Time trials, multiplayer, very cool. Replays and bonuses. We'll do championship. I, I imagine that's probably the closest thing to a story mode in this game. You think so? Yeah, I can't remember what all the other ones are, but I didn't, uh... But I know that there were a couple. I, like, two games with two each. I just don't remember what they all were. Had to resub, lol. Well, didn't realize it ran out. Did you resub? I didn't see the pop up. But thank you, Nate, if you did. Appreciate it. And even if you can't or don't, then I mean, hey, I understand, man. I just appreciate you being here. Okay, open preseason qualifier. Gain a good position to qualify for the racing season. Oh, right, whatever. Sure, we'll do that. So I mean, the the initial thing there went pretty well. Hopefully, it goes well here on the 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 second little race here. You did resub, just don't know why it didn't pop up. I don't know. Maybe there's some sort of delay at the moment or something like that. No big deal, though. I appreciate you, man, subbing. You have been here basically since day one. Well, day one of the the this series, at least. I've been streaming on and off for, for years before I even... Uh, well, shit, I guess before I knew anybody in this stream besides Mr. Noodle. <laughs> that's, uh, that's, uh, yeah. I've been streaming a little while, on and off. But, uh, just started taking it seriously, and as, since I have, Nate has been here for essentially every stream, so I appreciate it. Yes, of course, Mr. Noodle's the real OG. The number one fan. The best. <laughs> Honestly, the controls felt like Spyro when you're using a supercharge. Oh, yeah, you know what? You're not too far off from that. It feels a little bit looser, maybe, um, than Spyro with the supercharge. Like, Spyro with the supercharge, I remember just being a little bit uh, slippery, right? But I it's been a little while though since i played spyro so i could be mistaken i imagine us constantly hitting that wall can't be good for the for the bike here but like i'm sure it's fine right 
the pod's only only smoking a little bit, and we're we're almost to the the end of it right here, right? Is that the end? Nope. I guess there's one more thing around. There's the end. That's got to be it. Yeah, there we go. First place, baby, on the qualifier. So I mean. <laughs> Sing mode? Oh, uh, you're the freaking worst. I hate you all. <laughs> I'm glad I have that on to only once a week now. Literally scared people away the last time we did it. <laughs> nice and uh, very close to it. Uh, I see Rue's the one to bring it up. Of course she, uh, he was. Rue's always the one to bring it up. <laughs> uh, that's one way to put it. Hey, there's the subscription. It just popped up. So Twitch must just be a little bit behind. Really hard to control sometimes. Is that what you want to on, Nate? You beat me to it. All right, so exit race, and then I guess I have to redeem this junk over here. <laughs> I'm trying to think of things to sing. It's so hard, I die every time as soon as it comes up i forget what i'm doing every single time it's kind of embarrassing chicken wing chicken wing something macaroni i never remember this song at all <laughs> i appreciate the good kind words but it's actually terrible you can say I'm doing wonderful all you want. It doesn't change the fact that it's really not. <laughs> I I hope the Dorseman starts streaming soon so we can do this to him too. Chicken wing, chicken wing, hot dog and bologna, chicken macaroni, chilling with my homies. <laughs> I'm about to give him a call, make him do it. That would be funny. <laughs> He does love singing, this is true. I bet he could do it better too. It's kind of weird we get to pick our track for a championship. You think it would just be whatever. I don't know if he has his stuff set up, but if he does, I'm totally down. <laughs> Anything to save me from this is a-okay. Uh, he doesn't, sadly. <laughs> I'm just gonna focus on the race, because anything else is uh, d d bad. I'm out of luck. Uh, obviously, I don't know if I ever had any to begin with. Where'd you see Dorseman at? Was he at work or uh, in a hat? <laughs> I don't know why I feel like it always has to rhyme, but if it doesn't, it it's a bad time. I abe se de uache, ajajika el nope, kuer es te uve, dubafe ix agret zet. It doesn't really work in French, but I can try. It's a thing. He was in a car near your house. That's weird. Uh, I'm not going to ask questions. <laughs> I bet he was in a hat. <laughs> Do other people not just chill in hats? Uh, maybe it's just me. Uh, and that's a fact. Question mark. We're going to lose this freaking race. I can feel it now. Oh, God, no. There's got to be a way to turn a little bit better than what I'm doing. We can repair, but it takes a lot of our speed. That's good to know. Uh, whippy D. <laughs> we. <laughs> how, how, how do you say that in a sing song voice? Just we <laughs> and. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, no. I think I have two more minutes uh, until then. I'm wanting to finish. Some auto-tune would be amazing. Uh, maybe then I could not concentrate. 
more. Like Jason Derulo, I don't know what that means. I'm sure I've heard him, but I'm bad with celebrities. <laughs> From now on, I'm just gonna use the, your uh, Japanese uh, electronic instrument noodle. I don't know why Talkbox made me think of that, but it did, and that would be fun. Automatone! That's what it's called. I have no idea where it's at. Did I hide it, or did you lose it, or something? You don't know where it is either. That's too bad. Um, it's got to be somewhere. We are way back, like, last place. I don't know what happened. Is probably this freaking tunnel that did us in, honestly. You like Tommy? I don't know what that means. Tommy is a thing. Time's up. Thank God. <laughs> I don't think there's any way we're freezing. I'm all, I'm all uh, tongue tied, tongue twisted. I'm all, I'm all messed up now. Dang, you wanted more? No. Why? Why do you want more? It's the worst. I don't understand your guys' enjoyment out of it. I'm leaving it in there just for you, basically, though. <laughs> I can borrow your microphone next time. Oh, it's just the regular microphone. Yeah, I don't think my voice needs amplified anymore. Because <laughs> it's funny. Hey, I don't know. It's painful. That's what it is. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we lost this race, like, by a long shot. Does, yeah, there is a restart race. We're going to we're gonna try to restart, because that was not going well. Gain additional speed advantage by drafting close behind blades ahead of you. So that's what the vehicles are called, I guess. Yes, it does. Noodle find it. It does not. It most definitely does not. You know what we can do? Um, real quick. Let me see. This this is still subject to change a little bit. Oh, it's probably too large. Dorseman, are you still here? Are you still in chat? Can you send me... Um... Hold on. Let me, let me pull up the thing here real quick. Um channel or no 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 affiliate settings do 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 emotes uh oh that's only for i have that set really high let's do we can do that on a cheaper one it's fine it's fine uh oh actually no that's fine that's fine dorseman you, I don't I don't need you to send me anything at the moment. So this here is still a little subject to change, just to make that clear to everybody. But I am going to upload a emote that is being worked on, because as I've been saying forever, I am working on getting custom emotes done. It's just taking a little while, but we're getting there with it. And... There we go. Nice. Okay. Let's, uh, so. Love. One, whatever. Like I said, this, this, <laughs> this will, this will end up changing. Oh no. It's pending. It has to be approved first. Oh, uh, I didn't think of that. That sucks. Hold on. I, I can still show it to you guys, at least. I can I can still do that. That way everybody can see what it looks like. You get told you're annoying. You are sometimes, but I, I love you and your weirdness, even when it is a little bit annoying, love. <laughs> we are going to show an image. We're just going to call it image and browse and downloads Christian baby. Look at it. Look at it. Isn't it one of the cutest things you've ever seen in the world?
<laughs> so of course as an emote it'll be real small it'll be something like that so like it won't it that's why it looked you know more pixelated but it is made in a pixel art style because that's what me and Dorsman do is uh the pixel art stuff and Dorsman's the one making the emotes for me hence why he said sorry but yeah so that there is going to be one of the emotes we have a handful of other ones uh already planned out and whatnot but that's 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 one of them this little guy right here so wait you got a beard i have a gigantic beard <laughs> I, yeah i i have a little bit of a beard here why don't we just uh why don't we just leave him here somewhere for now there we go he can he can hide down here instead of this little heart there can be this little guy over here you just get him like like right there there we go perfect big beard yeah big beard <laughs> so that's gonna be one of the emotes we have like i said a few other ones planned out already but they uh are still in the works this one is the closest one to being done and uh and I, I love it. I love the style of it. And Dorsman basically did it all on his own. I gave him, or I showed him kind of, um, cause I'll be honest with you. Whenever I saw the, excuse me, the default Twitch ones, I kind of fell in love with them. And I was like, oh my God, I kind of want something like this. So I kind of showed them to him and he's taken, you know, his own spin on it, of course. But that was definitely the inspiration for them. And, uh, we have a couple other like custom ideas just for us in the works uh, as well of course but but yeah it's it's very cute very cute dorseman has done a wonderful job on this one and i'm very excited to get them all added proper into the the channel here whenever they are finished I'm missing a little bit about uh, whatever that's going on in the chat. I see something about Viking. That's uh, that's fairly accurate. <laughs> oh, God. I think this was a bad course for us to pick, man. This is not... <laughs> we are not doing well. We might just end up having to suck it up. Like, I don't know how they're, they're getting so far ahead. We did so well on the qualifier. And then on this one, we're just constantly falling behind we're in what position four so we're not in last place at least like every time we hit the brakes though it just seems bad what does triangle do again triangle changes that we don't we don't want that oh no that was bad it's so jerky man r1 yeah, there's no, like, I, I could have, I would have thought there would have been, like, a drift button or something like that. I still would think there would be a drift button somewhere, but I can't seem to find one. There's the brake button, but, like, you don't want to be braking all the time. And even then, it doesn't seem to really help you around corners that much. At least we're not in last place yet. So we're doing better than, than last time. Oh, well... We were, until we damn near killed ourselves. And now we're in last place. This is, this is fine. This is fine. Everything is fine. <laughs> all right, let off the throttle. Maybe that's all we got to do. What do the arrow keys do? The D-pad doesn't seem to do anything, best I can tell. Like, it's insane how much speed we lose going around these corners, you know? Go from like a thousand down to 500. And it seems everybody else is able to keep theirs more. Maybe it has something to do with like, we have a low acceleration or something maybe? I don't know, I didn't pay that much attention to our stats. I don't even remember to be honest. Yeah, even actually paying attention though, it looks like we're probably gonna get last place. So, so not going particularly well here. Maybe, maybe the next race will be better. <laughs> we can, we can only help, hope, I mean. Is that the, was that the last lap? No, this is the last lap, okay. So, technically there's a chance, but I don't think it's gonna happen. You know what this game is missing, man? It's missing Mario Kart mechanics, right? It needs, it needs some combat mechanics, man. Some, some mystery boxes so I can pick up some power-ups. 
that'll give me a chance to to catch up to these people or whatever because it looks like position four is like 10 seconds ahead of me i think is what that means 12 seconds now ahead of me yeah like we are we are screwed definitely yeah yeah that's that's 100 percent what the game needs <laughs> Something to give me a chance at not being last place. <laughs> oh, no. All the way down to 20 all of a sudden. But then we're like, then we catch up a bunch. I don't know. We need, we just need a course that's less windy, I think. Uh, obviously, we are not doing good with the, the corners. There must be some sort of trick to it that I just don't understand. Either that or these guys are just cheating. That's a possibility. See, like, I'm slowing down to go around the corners, trying not to hit the walls as much, but even that doesn't really seem to be helping. Now, granted, I am still hitting the walls every now and then, so, you know, it's not... <laughs> it's not perfect. We got, we got that boost, though. Let's go! Boost, baby! And, yeah, it doesn't matter. They're crossing the finish line now. <laughs> well... <laughs> Yeah, GG. I think uh <laughs> I think we I think we lost that one, man. Look, maybe we'll have better luck in the the bowling game made by the same company. I think it's just called like AFH Bowling or something. It's a <laughs> it's a relatively simple name. All right, so what what was everybody saying cuz I didn't really get a chance to to look. And the more I learn about you, the more you think of your boss, Adam. You're not even kidding when you say you even sound a lot like him. Plot twist. I've been Adam all along. Not really. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I don't even know Adam. Noodle, that's an awesome comparison. Plot twist. Didn't see yours, Nate, but nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's what Nate and Mr. Noodle both said. Just think of me as a Viking. You're talking to your fiance while working... About the D&D game, she asked which co-worker he was, and you literally said the Viking-looking one, and then she knew exactly who. Yeah, that's that's me. I'm, I'm the Viking. <laughs> Your boss streams on YouTube and does 3D printing? I wish I did 3D printing. Damn it. I want to do 3D printing, I just don't have anywhere to set up a 3D printer. And that's pretty much the only reason why I don't. Like, if there was somewhere in the house I could confidently set up a printer where I don't think the, the cats would mess with it or anything. Um, and that had, like... Because in my bedroom, I keep the temperatures down real low. Because, you know, I sleep in here. Plus, it can make a lot of noise. So I don't think I'd want it in the bedroom. We could put it in one of the side rooms, but then I'd worry about the cats. I think they would bother it, Mr. Noodle. And if they messed up a print, like Rue said, it can get kind of expensive on, like, the larger size prints and whatnot. And uh, if they were to, to, to bump into it or start batting at it or something like that, then you could lose a lot of filament. First thing I should print is a statue of the Dorseman. A 12-inch tall statue of Dorseman. <laughs> How about we start with, like, something, I don't know, uh, a fifth of that, a sixth of that size, <laughs> like a two inch statue. How about that? We'll do, we'll do a nice little two inch, three inch statue. You thought he was going to go somewhere. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, she had the other guy's names. Remember when you said who was playing and then you said yours and she was like, who's that? And that was the best descriptive thing you can think of. I mean, that's essentially what it is. Would that be a gift to your wife? <laughs> a 12 inch statue of the doorsman to give to your wife. That'd be <laughs> that'd be so weird, man. Just come home. Hey, babe, I got you a gift today. And it's just a statue of yourself. That's not awkward at all. Oh, man. The, the time has been flying by. We've been streaming for 45 minutes already. Let's uh, take a very short break while I just stretch, get a quick drink, and get rid of those pesky little ads. And then we'll be right back with some more of this uh, absolutely riveting game. Power drum that we are obviously terrible at, but we're we're gonna keep trying though, damn it. Be right back, everyone. Nationwide, that's pretty cool. And then some training. We'll try uh We'll try a tournament mode. Why not get into it? 
golf in the name, therefore golf game, says Mr. Noodle. Yeah, I don't really know if it works that way, though. <laughs> right? Because, I mean, you can put golf in the name of anything. It doesn't mean it's necessarily golf. Get experience points each time you finish around. The number of points depends on what place you finish in. Your total for all four tournaments appear in the lower bar. When your points hit the maximum, you get upgrade and rank. And new courses are unlocked. Tournament winners also get prizes, so play your best. What should we do? Should we do spring, summer, fall, winter? Aloha Beach Resort. Mount Sakura. CC. Aloha Beach Resort and Mount Sakura again. Kind of want to do fall or winter, I'm thinking. Maybe winter. What are the prizes? Head speed radar. Okay. Caddy Mel. So a new caddy. A new wallpaper. A big air club. Mr. Noodle says fall. Fine winter. Fall's fine. I'm fine with fall. We got a perky darling, darling of a golfer who's always... Man. Words. Tiffany is a perf perky darling of a golfer who is also perfect for beginners for distance with solid impact use big air gear to compensate for weak, weak power we don't have big air gear as far as i know yet so you got johnny a young very ambitious golfer good for beginners better power and control than tiffany but poor spin as a result has low arcing shots then you got pete good old pete good for beginners a straight shooting alabama bred jokester who naturally isn't very good at curving shots but he does have a mean backspin and it's pretty good at approach uh, I don't know. Kind of feel like Johnny's the one to go for. Kind of regretting it already. <laughs> for change of competition related settings, such as handicaps and party mode option. No, we'll just play however it normally is. We were not being mean to Pete. We were just saying that he looks like a, a friend of ours. That's all. <laughs> we weren't being mean to him. When you really want to whack the ball far, press the square button to enter power mode. But remember, you can only use it a limited number of time. Good tip. Oh, I forgot to unmute the game. There you go. Get a little bit of game sound going here. Everybody sounds so excited. Alright, I forget all of the controllers. I had them figured out when we were playing before. But I forget them all now. Okay, so that's how you change your clubs. Perfect. And then left and right takes you left and right. The stick, left stick's just the camera. Right stick doesn't seem to do anything. Uh, you can say that all you want, Mr. Noodle, but you're not. <laughs> she is not a very independent person. Love her to death, but no. <laughs> you are? Okay. Whatever you say, love. Codependent, I think, is the word you're talking about there, you're thinking of. <laughs> Mood on taking care of ourselves? Yeah, man, it's a, it's a hard time sometimes. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> oh. She can, she can try to say she's not, but she knows she's very codependent. And I'm not even saying that's a bad thing. It's just how it's just how she is, man. She's a very codependent person. I love her deeply, though. Just appeared on the news. Something about Girl Scout cookies can be delivered on DoorDash. What, bruh, Nate? If you get the the ability to dash me some Girl Scout cookies, you best be letting me know, man. Cause I will take a nice order of Samoas in a heartbeat. Love me some Samoas. <laughs> Tagalongs? Nah, Tagalongs are one of the worst, man. The lemon drop ones are okay. Samoas are amazing. But that's uh, that's about all I can eat. Ah, Doris, man. You have a great night, man. You uh, probably just got off work, I imagine. So I feel that I will hopefully talk to you tomorrow, bud. About maybe streaming some podcast stuff. So... Have a good night, man. Talk to you tomorrow. Also, I am extremely independent. Okay. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I, I, you can lie all you want, but we know who's telling the truth here. Also, we really need to repair. Don't press triangle. Triangle's a bad button. What's the repair button? 
You're slowing me down. It's not square. It's not those buttons. I thought it was circle, but it's not working. Oh, there we go. Okay, so our boost. So we can either boost or repair, it looks like, is how that works. Good to know. Good to know. Noodle was telling the truth. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I don't... I don't know why you're lying about it, but I'm not going to sit here and argue with you either. And so this race is going a little bit better. We're still like not doing amazing, but we're not in last place either. So improvement question mark, right? Oh man. We need we need to repair. As much as I don't want to slow down. Ah, oh, somehow we overtook him though. Even with slowing down. We got this. We got this. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, uh, if we don't like just completely wreck ourselves. Wait, don't actually make me independent. Those okay sounds sound like you're going to. I mean, I don't know. We'll see what happens, you know? If you want to be independent, that's fine. You can be independent, love. <laughs> Don't jinx yourself. Yeah, you're right. I probably shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> uh, okay, break. We got this. Maybe not. Uh, There we go. Go, 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 go. Dude, we did it. Okay, so we won that one, but barely. That was a, a hard-fought win there. <laughs> I mean, being independent is going until you actually need help, then people don't, so don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. She's just being complicated. <laughs> she she likes being a, a, a complicated person. A little bit of a brat, if you will. <laughs> Again, I, I love her dearly. Am I wrong? No. No, not at all. <laughs> Rude. I am not being rude. Is it rude just to say the truth, love? I'm not even saying it's a bad thing. Either one of those things. You being a bit codependent is not a bad thing. You being a little bit of a brat, not a bad thing. Mr. Noodle with the five bit cheer. If I'm so rude, then why are you still donating bits? That's the real question, love. You're just trying to get your, uh, your, your bit boss placed back up there. Nate resubscribe and took you a bunch of your uh <laughs> took a bunch of your house down cuz I love you and I need you. Ah, you so sweet. I love you too, boo. Is she still a brat now? Yes. <laughs> yes she is. <laughs> She'll always be a brat. <laughs> uh So, I don't think we've done this track yet, right? Ooh, we got some water effects on the screen. We also got a wall that we just ran straight into. And branching paths that are kind of hard to navigate, to be honest. Okay. So this is a thing. I see this race going very poorly for us. <laughs> it's way too open. I have no idea where to go. And we're going to run into everything. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is going to be bad. She's trying to get wrapped. She got some last night. Yeah, she did. I got her a couple wraps, and what was the other thing? Oh, a pretzel. She wanted a pretzel. Finally. <laughs> Acting like she's not near Sheets, the place that sells the wraps, like, once or twice a week with her mother anyways. She could have got a wrap. She just never thinks about it. I mean, I'm up that way, too. I could have got her a wrap, but I never think about it either. <laughs> They were delicious. Nate says good. <laughs> Y'all enable her too much. <laughs> we are in last place. Oh, wait. Well, we just we just got fourth. Okay. So we're catching up. But as soon as we get back to that, like, really open watery section, I'm pretty sure we're going to be screwed. <laughs> and big turn. Man, we lost so much freaking... Uh, Is that not a way we can go? Where are we going? I do not like this map. Oh, it's over here. They need, like, actual walls or, like, uh, what's that? That 
one water racing game, Wave Rider or whatever, Wave Racers, where they have the buoys, but they have them like constantly. So you can always see which way you can and can't go. They need something like that if they're just going to have big open water sections with things that you can't go through. Invisible walls and buoys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They need like more buoys though so that you can actually see where you can and can't go. Because just having the invisible walls definitely is not cutting it. <laughs> I mean, like, I'm trying to think of good things to say about the game. But honestly, other than, <laughs> other than the fact that it feels fast, I don't know, man. Like, it feels like they just kind of dropped the ball on this one, you know? It shows potential, I guess, is what I want to say about it, right? Like, it seems like it could be a good game, but it just needed more work. I don't know any of the history or development of this game or anything like that, but it feels like one of those games that were rushed out the door. Like, the developer knew they were going to be closing soon, or um, maybe the parent company for them didn't want to give them money to continue development or whatever. And so they just kind of had to call it a day on whatever they had. That's what it feels like. Right? Because it's got a nice sense of speed. It doesn't look amazing for a PS2 game, but it doesn't look bad either. And some of the some of the cart designs, whatever they call these, these vehicles that we're flying around in, look kind of neat. So it's not terrible, but it's... It's actual racing mechanics need work, though. And then the levels need to be made a little bit more clear, in my opinion. We're definitely going to end up losing this one as well. I don't know how the championship works. Maybe if we don't place, then it just doesn't count. Yeah, they're already all crossing the finish line. We are. Oh, we're not actually that far behind. There's fourth place right there. We're not going to catch up, but... Yeah. Not be able to return to the screen. That's fine. I don't I don't think any of us are going to be too upset about that. So I think I'm going to try one more time. On one of those two maps. And then what we might actually do. Mr. Noodle brought up the fact that she bought me a game that she gave me an early birthday present that she just gave me tonight. And uh, it was another one made by the same studio. It's bowling, so maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll try that one out after one more go at this course here. Should have got wrapping paper from Walmart instead of going the cheap route. Why is there not enough on those two rolls that you bought to to wrap the giant box? We got one of my little cousins. His birthday's coming up so, uh, soon too. We got him like this giant. What are they called? Stuffed animals. Uh, it was what a giant dinosaur one, and yeah. <laughs> So there was like no good way to, to wrap it because of how large it is. So Mr. Noodle put it in a large box and then she was gonna wrap the whole thing up. But it looks like she may not have enough paper for it though, which is a bit of a problem. Awesome, yeah, I'm hoping he likes it. We got him that in a book, which is kind of our, our go-to for, for young children. We always try to get them some sort of book and then uh, one or two other things to go with it. And his mother mentioned him liking like dinosaurs and dolls and a few different things. And uh, Mr. Noodle loves dinosaurs and stuffed animals as well. So it was just kind of like, you know, <laughs> it just kind of, it seemed like the obvious choice. These people are like really running into my ass here, boy. Holy crap, we're going to die. <laughs> okay, well. We made it out of there alive. Finish. Just barely. I don't like that arrow popping up all the way back there. Could we have turned sooner? We might have been able to turn sooner. Oh man, now everybody's so far ahead of us. Uh, What's everybody doing? Everybody like spread out. I thought maybe there was a turn that I was missing or something. They make these big bags year something year round. I'm... Oh, a giant dragon? Wait, what? Who got a giant dragon? Is that something that they were selling at Walmart? Like something that we could have gotten or something? Because a giant dragon would have been cool. 
Okay, well, well, we weren't doing so bad. That hurt, though. And it looks like we are, uh, pretty damaged. I don't know if y'all can hear it, but we are, like, we are, like, rumbling. And the, the controller is vibrating in my, in my hands. It's, uh, yeah. <laughs> our, our cart does not sound too good right now. We're gonna have to do a repair cycle. Oh, man, I hate to get farther behind. Okay, looks like we're only two seconds behind. Maybe, maybe we can catch up. I'm not gonna hold my breath on it, but... You have a Triceratops plush blanket? Is Triceratops your favorite, Mr. Noodle? Dinosaur? I don't remember. I think you may have said it was at one point in time. Bank? What's what's a bank? Bank. Everybody's saying bank. Did I miss something? I must have misread something. I'm thinking I misread something. <laughs> oh! Triceratops plush bank. I see. I see. I see. <laughs> it's a plush bank. I see. I see. I was focusing on the race. And obviously I should have kept focusing on the race because now we are... <laughs> oh no. We lost our position. We were in first for a short period of time again. Oh, okay, okay. We got third. We got third. We're catching up. There is still a chance that we'll get it. We have one in the car named Trevor. Triceratops are probably your fave. I thought that's what you had said before, Mr. Noodle, but... T-Rex or a Pothosaurus. I don't know off the top of my head what kind of dinosaur that is, to be honest. I'm sure I've seen one before somewhere. Uh, we need a boost, please. Boost, please. Uh, no, don't go that way. Go this way. Oh, uh, we gotta be so close, man. I want that first. Give it to me. Boost. Nah, we're not gonna catch up. We're not gonna do it. Ah, uh, close. We got second, though. Second's not too bad. You have a bag named Tracy as well. Long necks if we go by land before die. Ah, long necks, of course, yeah. <laughs> Why didn't you just say that, man? <laughs> nice names, Noodle. Did you pick those names or did I pick those ones? I usually go for alliteration, which is why it makes me think it may have been I that picked them. Trevor the Triceratops, Tracy the Triceratops. Sounds like something I would do. That's why our first cat is named Katie. Katie the Kitty. <laughs> I like alliteration, man. It's easy. You will not be able to return to the screen. For some reason, I am okay with that. So do we want to do we want to try out bowling or do we want to do one more race here? You named the bag, but I might have named Trevor. I honestly don't remember. I would be curious to know how many stuffed animals you have at this point cuz we have bought you so many just since we've gotten together and then i mean you had a bunch before we got together as well you have red eye the teddy bear pagan the build a bear <laughs> bowling bowling okay we can do bowling i'm totally down for some bowling let me mark down that we played this game because otherwise i will end up forgetting so give me just a moment while i do that ps2 collection list Yeah, I mean, to be honest, that game, it's, it's another one of those games, like, if I was playing it with just friends or something, it would probably be fine, but playing it, like, as a as an actual racing game by myself is real meh, you know? Not, not amazing. Um, next question, did I bring that bowling game up? I don't remember. I'm gonna have to go grab it regardless. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead, I guess, and just do a short break now. It's a little bit early, but we're gonna have to do it now while I set up for the bowling game, whatever the hell it's called, AFH bowling or or something along those lines. I don't know. We'll find out. Be right back, everyone. L two doesn't seem to do anything. Okay. Clicking those down doesn't seem to do anything. There was some way to... Was it circle? No, circle. 
uh, just zooms the camera out. Triangle zooms the camera over to there for some reason. Squares power mode. Man, I really don't remember. There was some way I feel like to to change how hard you wanted to hit the ball, as well as like apply your backspin and stuff. Maybe you have to uh, maybe you have to go into the shot first. Shoot it right about there. Okay. Eh, not perfect. Could have been better, but hey, we're just getting warmed up, right? I mean, so this is just kind of, you know, bog standard golf game. It's nothing nothing crazy. So don't expect anything too much from it. Okay, and for spin. So I want to put a bit of a backspin on it. How do we... How do we do that? I don't remember. Hmm. Okay, but we want to hit it a little bit short here because we're actually shooting beyond <coughs> the hole there. And the wind's blowing, not particularly hard, but we'll aim just a tiny bit off to the side. Hit it right about there, maybe. <clears throat> uh, not terrible. Not as far as we wanted to get it either, though. Okay, so... Yeah, we want to only hit it, what, probably about 30 yards-ish? Oh, that was that was terrible. I'm going to switch. Right now I'm using OBS view. <clears throat> Excuse me. I am going to switch over to direct capture just to save a little bit of lag. Should help a tiny bit. Okay, so we want to get a better view here. So we actually want pretty much full power this time. Ah, that was terrible too. Look, still warming up here. Gotta gotta work the kinks out. I wasn't too, too bad. Wasn't great, but... <clears throat> nice approach. Okay. So, I mean, uh, you know, it was just par four and we're on our sixth stroke. That's all. <laughs> all right. So, that's going down to the right just a little bit here. 